Today we're going to talk about What is Love by Cindy Bartlett. A reading from the book of 1 Corinthians verses 4 through 8 says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Everyone throughout their life experiences love, but everyone's love is different in so many different types of way, ways. For me personally, I have such a special type of love for my friends, family, and my boyfriend. But that doesn't mean that other people don't have different types of love for other people. I want you to think personally about what makes you think of love. When I say the word love, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, friends, family, or maybe it's a sport, passion, hobby, or even a pet. Love can be anything that you make of it. Truly in anything and everything, you can find love. There are so many different types of love, but any way you look at it is special no matter what. Today, I made three main points of what love can consist of for me personally. Love with friends, love with family, and love with a significant other. I've shown you my three points now, but we are going to dig deeper into each of them. First, love with significant others. Growing up, I can always remember watching Disney movies, and that gave me such a certain perspective of love in my childhood. You always see the prince and the princess, and they always end up so-called happily ever after. A great example of this would be Beauty and the Beast. It shows you that no matter what you look like, you can be loved. It's what's on the inside that matters. Another great example of this would be Snow White. Snow White has a prince that comes and saves her life. As we grow up, we see such perfect examples of love, but when it comes to actually being in love, it isn't always as easy as it seems. Relationships can be hard, but in the end, it is worth it if it comes out to be true love. Love has highs and lows, but sometimes you must first experience the bad to receive the good. As stated by Goodreads 2020, Cinderella walked on broken glass, a word let a whole lifetime pass, Belle fell in love with a hideous beast, Jasmine married a common thief, Ariel walked on land for love, Snow White barely escaped a knife, Rapunzel had to find a new dream, Taniana kissed her prince and turned green, Mulan left to be a man, Pocahontas stayed to save her land, it's all about the smiles and tears because love means facing your biggest fears. Holly Miller. Being born into love is a totally different feeling than finding love, but it is still just as important. Next would be love within families. I was lucky enough to be born into a very loving family with many siblings, both parents, and many relatives. We are born to say I love you, but it's a big, it's a big word to use. As stated by BetterHelp on June 13, 2018, it is easy to say, I love my family, but family love is about more than these simple words. Family love is a special type of love that comes with its unique feelings, behaviors, challenges, and rewards. Once you understand what it truly is, you can learn how to build family relationships by genuine love and care. Family love must include bonds to share love. As stated by BetterHelp on June 13, 2018, in the context of family love, the term refers to bond characterized by deep affection, respect, loyalty, and healthy attachment. Family relationships are different from other types of bonds. The following characteristics of family love set it apart from the following types of love relationships. Another factor that may go into your type of family love would be a pet that you have had throughout your lifetime. Pets are treated just like your family, and we love them just as much as we do our human family. We treat our pets the same way as we would with our own families. If they're hurt, we bring them to the doctors, we groom and clean them just like a human family member. Lastly, love with friends. Some of the most important love in our life is gained throughout life. Friends are such an important piece of love. You spend so much time with friends and care about them and tend to love them in a friend type way. You would do anything for your friends. We like to have people in our life to make us fit in and make us comfortable. We share the same characteristics, traits, and just like to have fun. As stated by Psychology Today on March 19, 2019, true love with the best friend usually means that you feel at ease in witnessing each other. In most cases, that ease is seemingly like to come from a sense of deep similarity. Most people tremendously enjoy finding another person who says, oh, me too, in relation to beliefs, tastes, styles, and opinions. Friends are there for you when no one else might not be. When you have no one else to talk to, your friends are always there for you. As stated by Shape on November 8, 2017, Good friends know you inside and out. 
They know what you like, what you don't, and they know how to cheer you up when you're upset. Friends who love and care about you are willing to listen to whatever you have to say and will let you talk freely and openly. Openly. Love comes in so many different ways, but it is just as important every time. All love is so important. I truly believe love forms our life and our personality, behaviors, and attitudes. If we don't experience love, we truly don't experience some of the best parts of life. There are different types of love, but all love is special in its own way. We receive love in three main types of ways, as I mentioned. Significant other, friends, and family. But it also goes above that. Love is whatever you make it out to be. As humans, we crave love and attention. We receive and give love in so many ways. Maybe you're a very giving person, or maybe you're shy and help people anonymously. Though those ways, we show our love to others and ourselves. No one ever said that love is easy, and it will never be perfect. But I can guarantee that love is worth it. Whether the love is with a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, friends, family, pet, hobby, sport, or anything else, love is a word commonly overused, which isn't a bad thing, but if used in the right way, it really has a special meaning. As stated by BetterHelp on June 13, 2018, love is a word that has been used in so many ways, it has nearly lost its meaning. Thank you.